in what order should I adjust the chemicals in my pool? This is probably one of the first questions that new swimming pool owners are going to start asking when they start learning about balancing their pool and spa water. And it is a very important question because if you do it in the wrong order, which a lot of people do, even some professionals do, you kind of will end up working in circles because there is a relationship between the different chemical variables that you're testing, like pH and total alkalinity, for example. As you adjust one level, the other tends to adjust as well in the, in the majority of cases. And so it, you can end up working in kind of a cyclical fashion and it's very confusing to new pool owners, especially when you're doing it in the wrong order. So just to be clear, the established standard for, for the order in which you should adjust your pool chemicals are total alkalinity first. When you first fill up your pool or you're first beginning your water balance, you need to adjust your total alkalinity. Following that, you need to adjust your pH. After that, adjust your calcium hardness. And it's after that that you would adjust your sanitizer level. And the reason why is that before we're worried about making the pool safe for you to swim in, we're adjusting the alkalinity and the pH and the calcium hardness in an effort to achieve a neutral state for the water in terms of saturation index. You don't want your water to exist in an acidic state and you don't want it to exist in a scaling state. And so you strive to achieve a neutral balance on the saturation index scale. Following doing that by adjusting your alkalinity and then your pH and then your calcium hardness, once that is done, you would work to establish your chlorine level such that you have a free chlorine level between two to four parts per million. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.